Hey YouTube, today I wanted to show you guys how to set up a Minecraft server for your Mac computer. This is also without using Hamachi, Hamatachi, however you pronounce that. Um, anyways, you don't have to use that with this method. So let's get started. First off, you will need Craft Bucket and Port Map. The links to both of those will be found in the description, but uh... Port map you'll have to install on your own. It's not that hard, just drag it into your applications folder. And anyways, you need both of those. So uh, first thing, you want to create a new folder. Call this server, or whatever you want. It is up to you. Drag the craft bucket jar that you just downloaded into the server folder. So it's in there just by itself. You want to create a new text document. Go up in here to your spotlight and search for text and text edit should come up. Just click that, open that. You should open up a new text document here. First thing you want to do is format make plain text. This is very important so um, the computer knows that you're not actually formatting this text. So what you want to do with this little text document here is paste in a little snippet of code that will be also in the description. Anyways, just copy and paste it into this text document. Now, you want to save it into the same folder as your craftbucket.jar. Save it as, say, start.command. It doesn't matter what the first part is, but make sure it ends in .command. I usually just do start. It makes things easy. And press save. It will probably save it to your desktop, so just drag it back into the folder with the craft bucket. Now, one of the last things you need to do is let your computer know that it has permission to run this little script here. So go into your spotlight and search terminal. Usually ter works. Search for that, and it will bring up this window. Now. That was weird. Okay, um, where was I? Oh yeah, type in all of this, which you need to type in, will be in the description as well if you don't catch what I'm saying. Type in cd space, drag in the server folder, and press enter. Next, you want to do chmod space a, lowercase a, a plus x space, and then drag in the start dot command and press enter. And that's it. You gave it permission to run the script. So double click the start.command, say you want to open it, and it will load up a server for you. Um, a few things might fail, that's just saying that it doesn't have the folders required and it will create them for you. Now a bunch of folders and text documents will appear in that folder with your .jar and um, these are your world, say your world nether world, and um, you are using buckets, so you can use bucket plugins, which are similar to mods, but not exactly the same. Now, I want to show you that this works, so let's load up Minecraft. Log in. And I'll speed this up here. Multiplayer, and double click that, and you can see that you can in fact log in. Now, you this is you know a server. Um, you might notice that other players can't actually join your server as of yet, so that's where the port map comes in. Go ahead and exit Minecraft, and if you want, you can close the server. I suggest just leave it up. Anyways, open port map. This is what port map will look like, essentially. It'll have this small little box with your IP at the top. I hope no one hacks me with that. Anyways, go up to the top. I didn't explain that. File, new mapping. And you'll have to fill out this little thing, form, I guess. On the local port, type in 25565. That should automatically fill it in on desired public port. Make sure it's TCP and description, it can just be Minecraft. And don't fill out the reference string, just leave that blank. And press add mapping. 
So this will now forward your port to other players wanting to join your server. The only uh, drawback, I guess you could say, to using port map is you have to keep it open the whole time you're running the server, otherwise players can't connect. And of course you have to keep this little server window up. That's use, that's the normal for servers. That's nothing added. So I guess logging in again won't show you that other players can as well, but take my word for it, other players can join your server, and that's it. That's all you need to set up a server. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If it has helped you in any way, please like the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one. And that's it. See you later, YouTube.